Welcome to this week's Echota Kids. I hope you guys are having a great week so far and um, that you are enjoying time, spending time with your family. Um, I would like to encourage you to like and share and comment on the video to let us know that you guys are watching. I want to give a shout out to Miss Dee Dee and Miss Patsy for commenting and letting us know that you were watching last week. Don't forget to share it with your friends so everybody can watch with us. Um, also, I want to let you know that we will not be having our Zoom room chat today, um, so you may enjoy your time with your family and enjoy the outside. And we don't have any specific craft for you today, but feel free to do one at home that you feel goes along with the lesson. Um, so now we're going to sing the song, My Lighthouse. In my wrestling, in my doubts. In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea In the silence you won't let go In the questions your truth will hold
let's review our big picture question. Why did God create people? There are three big reasons God made us. God created people to worship Him, love Him, and show His glory. This week, we're going to see that when broken and hurting people put their faith in Jesus, He demonstrated His glory and power through them. In fact, that's just what He made us for, to show His glory. When God made the world, everything was good and glorious. There was no sickness, pain, or death. But after Adam and Eve sinned, all of that changed. Because of sin, we experience illness, sadness, cruelty, and death. But there's still good news. That's right. God promised to send Jesus while on earth. Jesus traveled around healing people, teaching about God, and performing miracles. Today our story is called, Jesus Healed a Woman and a Girl. Jesus stood on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, and a large crowd gathered around him. Jairus, one of the leaders in the synagogue, fell at Jesus' feet and begged for his help. My daughter is about to die. Please come touch her so she will be healed and live, he said. Jesus went with Jairus, and many people followed, crowding around him. In the crowd was a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. She had seen many doctors and had spent all her money trying to get better, but no one could help her. She was getting worse. The woman said to herself, If I touch even Jesus' clothes, I will be healed. She came up behind Jesus in the crowd and touched his clothes. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she knew she was healed. At that moment, Jesus felt that power had gone out of him. He turned around. Who touched my clothes? He asked. Jesus' disciples pointed out that many people were crowded around him, but Jesus kept looking around. The woman, knowing she was healed, came forward and fell before Jesus. She told him what had happened. Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. You are healed. While Jesus was speaking, some men came from Jairus' house and told Jairus, Your daughter is dead. Do not bother Jesus anymore. Jesus heard what the men said, and he told Jairus, Do not be afraid. Just believe. Jesus and three of his disciples went to Jairus' house. People there were crying and wailing loudly. Why are you crying? Jesus asked. The child is not dead. She is sleeping. The people laughed because they did not believe Jesus, and he told them all to leave. Jesus took Jairus and his wife into the room where the child was. He took the girl by the hand and said, Little girl, get up. Immediately, the girl got up and began walking around. Jairus and his wife were amazed. Jesus told them to give the girl some food and to not tell anyone what had happened. By healing the woman and raising the little girl from the dead, Jesus showed his power as the Messiah. Jesus died on the cross and rose again to save people from sin and death. When we trust in Jesus, God forgives our sins and changes us to be more like his son. Hi there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for Questions from Kids. Jeremiah from South Ogden, Utah asks, How can we care for people who are sick and hurting? Jeremiah, that's a good question. And you know, one of the first things we can do is meet their needs practically. You know, I have three kids, and, and when they're sick, they just want somebody to come and, and sit with them and be with them and uh, maybe bring them something to eat or drink or a, a cold towel or something like that. And so there are ways that we can provide for them and take care of them in a really practical way. But there are other ways that we can take care of them as well. Uh, one thing we can do is pray for them, of course. We, we can pray that, that God will heal them. Uh, we can pray for comfort for them and just ask God to take care of them in that time. 
but we can also let that person know that God cares for them. Let them know that we prayed for them. Uh, let them know that God is aware and he's in control. And, and while, yeah, it's not fun to be sick, it's not fun to be hurting, that God is good and he's with us even in those times where we don't feel well. Uh, and so that's a great, great comfort that we can bring to people that no matter how bad you feel, that God is there, he's watching over you, and he's taking care of you. So here's a question back for you to think about. What would you like someone to do for you if you were sick or hurting? By healing the woman and raising the little girl from the dead, Jesus showed his power as the Messiah. And because Jesus died on the cross and rose again, we know that he's able to save us from all sin and sickness. One day, God will make the whole world new again. The Bible tells us that Jesus will return someday. When that happens, believers will be given new heavenly bodies, ones that will never get sick or die. He will make us new so that we can live with him forever. We trust Jesus to save us from sin and death. So today we're going to go ahead and close in a word of prayer, if you'll join us. Dear Lord, we trust you because you are the ultimate healer. Thank you for sending Jesus to earth to die on the cross, and thank you for offering forgiveness when we confess our sins. Thank you for healing us from sicknesses, and thank you for the promise of ultimate healing, that you will raise every Christian from the dead on the last day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We miss you. We love you. We hope you stay safe. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye, guys. Bye.